check it out. I found fly agaric. And that's a beautiful one right there. It had a fly on it as I approached it. Wow. Wow. All right, this is the classic Amanita muscara famosa, the yellow version. You can tell it's an Amanita because of this, the vulva. This was written extensively by, I think it's George Watson, and he calls it Soma. And he claims that they reference this in the Reg Vedas from India. The shaman of Siberia were known to trade a large cap of these for a whole reindeer. And they found the sun-dried ones the most valuable. The two active components in the cap of this, and in, in this outer covering, are polar molecules, so they're water-soluble. So if they get rained on, they tend to deplete the potency. And in Japan, they take advantage of that by picking these. They have an actual festival, and they'll soak these in a salted brine. And it leaches out the ibotenic acid and the muscamol making these perfectly safe to eat, and then they pickle them. As well, the indigenous tribes of Michigan were known to harvest these and use them in their shamanistic rituals. Isn't that cool, Lady Kay? Yeah. Yeah, it's an amazing, amazing mushroom. And it's one of the prettiest ones, if you ask me. It's just beautiful. Look at that thing. These also have a symbiotic relationship, the mycelium that's in the ground here forms a mutual exchange with birch trees and certain evergreen trees where this thing will produce a, actually forms a mantle a covering around the roots of of the tree and during times of dry weather will help it you know give it moisture and it also gives it some nutrients